Today I'm testing the digital teleconverter Olympus cameras. Some might call it digital zoom, but it's called di digital teleconverter on Olympus menus. Yes, you heard me right, digital teleconverter, which some might not want to use, but I will tell you that sometimes it might be very handful. And before we start talking about the digital teleconverter, please consider subscribing my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. I've said this sentence to subscribe and I, I just found out that it's wrong. Somebody commented on a video that the way I say it, it's wrong. I always appreciate if somebody corrects my English because as you know, it's not my first language. It's actually my third language. So my apologies that I've been saying that wrong all the time. I post two videos a week and remember my channel is all about Olympus gear and about you getting to be a better photographer. But let's get into the digital teleconverter. I mentioned the digital teleconverter in my video about tavern photography. I was at Kurasar and uh, as I said in the video that I never used it before, but there was one guy in a, in a lecture that I was giving at the Finnish Nature Photographers Asso Association's summer days. They had a summer gathering and I was giving a lecture about Olympus cameras. Among the Olympus photographers, there's one guy who showed me pictures that he had used the digital teleconverter and I was a bit surprised about the quality, but we'll get back into the quality later in this video. And you turn it on from the shooting menu one. Simple as that. And now you have it on. And I will give you a tip how to access it really quickly in the end of this video. The digital teleconverter doubles the focal length of your lens on your Olympus camera. For example, I have a 14 to 42 millimeter kit zoom lens on the EM10 Mark III right now. And if I use the digital teleconverter on this one, I will have a 20, uh, actually a 14 to 84 millimeter lens. So it will double the focal length. And of course, if, if uh, I use it on the longer end, it will match the focal length or actually the angle of view of a 168 millimeter lens on a full frame body. So you get pretty close with this, with this combo using the teleconverter. And uh, it's worth a try, as you will see. But let's say that you have a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. That will become a 75 to 600 millimeter lens if you use the digital teleconverter. And if you have the 300 millimeter f4 lens and use the digital converter, you will have a 600 millimeter f4 lens. And what's great about the digital teleconverter, it won't affect on your aperture. Let, let's say that you put a MC20 on your 300 millimeter f4 lens. It will become a 600 millimeter f5.6 lens. But with the teleconverter, it doesn't affect the aperture. It will stay at f4. And imagine using the MC20 and the digital teleconverter on your 300 millimeter f4 lens, which will make the 300 millimeter a 1200 millimeter lens. I don't have the MC20 right now, but here you can see how it looks if you use the uh, MC14 and a 300 millimeter f4 lens. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But there is a downside on this. You can only use JPEG if you use the teleconverter because the raw image will be at its native uh, focal length and the no native ang angle of view. But the, <laughs> the funny thing is that you still see the cropped image from your viewfinder, but it will record the original focal length and the angle of view of, of the original focal length, which I think it's, it's kind of crazy. But if you, if you set up your camera to record RAW and JPEG, then you will have the cropped image as a JPEG image, which is of course a bit, uh, well, maybe not that wise, because RAW images are a lot better if you do post-production with the images, some image editing. And even Olympus Workspace won't help you. It will show the RAW image as, a, as it would have been shot without the teleconverter, which is kind of odd. I think it should have the information for Olympus Workspace to work also on RAW images. I don't know why that's not the case. Let's say that your camera records both RAW and JPEG, and then you turn the digital teleconverter on, and you will see a narrower angle of field on your viewfinder. And that will be the image that is cropped, or actually it's not cropped, it will record all the pixels that your sensor can capture, even though if it's a 16 megapixel or 20 megapixel sensor you have on your Olympus camera it will upscale the image from a smaller image. But of course, if you upscale an image from a smaller file, you will lose the image quality. And of course, that's something that you have to test for yourself if you are satisfied with the image quality from the teleconverter images or not. I can not judge 
that for you. I personally think it's uh, a bit less quality, but if you want to have a, a bit longer lens, then it might be worth a try. But let's say that you travel light and you have a 25 millimeter lens on you only, only one lens, 25 millimeter. And then you're using the, and if you use the teleconverter, you can have a 25 millimeter lens and a 50 millimeter lens, which can come in handy if you're traveling and you want to get a bit more reach for your lens. But as I said, it's all up to you to figure out if the quality is good enough for you. But let's look at some images. What are your thoughts on the digital teleconverter? Have you used it and what do you think about the quality? Of course, another method could be that you crop the image from a raw file and then you upscale it using Photoshop, for example, or upscale it when you export it with Lightroom. And here is an example of that. Which one did you find to be a bit better? And here you can see when you first crop it, Mat to match the, the teleconverter image and then upscale it by exporting it from Lightroom, you can see that actually the raw image has a better quality. So you have to decide which one do you want to do. Crop it and then upscale it from raw or use it to digital teleconverter. Whichever fits your workflow is a better way. And then the promise tip, how you can have a fast access to digital converter. Go to special menu B, and the button functions. And I've have it set it for FN2 button, which is very handy way. It's right next to the shutter button, but it depends on what Olympus camera you have. Then you have to figure out which button works best for you. And something that I did not mention, the digital teleconverter can be found in all the OMD cameras. So it doesn't matter which OMD camera you have, you will have the digital teleconverter on your camera. And you might want to watch these two videos next. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.